Hey guys, it's Erin here with Hand Stamp Style, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the different kinds of um, products that we have. There are a few um, new products that they have come out, that Stampin' Up! has come out with that um, will allow you to add bling to your project. We have a couple different things, um, one of which I don't have a sample of to show you because I have used it all. <laughs> and I don't use that much of it anymore, so I haven't actually replaced it. So let me explain. So um, in the New Occasions catalog, we have a new product called the Wink of Stella, and it's basically like an aqua painter that has um, like a iridescent, there's a what they call a clear, which basically is just like a glitter um, brush. And then they have another one that is kind of a bronzy gold color um, that adds a little shine. And then we have our, of course, our dazzling details. And this comes in um, red, gold, silver, and the clear, the iridescent. And I'll explain to you the different reasons why I like each of these products. But I want to show you how they look different on your project. So the last product that we have um, that will allow you to add a sparkle is something that you would use with your heat tool. It's called iridescent ice and it's basically like a, a glitter that you would put down with like some heat and stick powder um, and then you would heat that heat stick powder with your heat tool. It makes it hot, right? warm and sticky and then you pour the um, what looks like glittery embossing powder is what it looks like you pour it over and then heat set that onto your project and it gives you um, a glitter effect as well a little bit of a bling so how do these look different and why would you use the different um, products so let me show you really quickly so these two right here I've actually used the dazzling details on and I'm going to try and show you what this looks like on camera but you can see the little hearts right now I'm gonna be real quiet and just let you listen to my finger run over these so you can hear that these are kind of rays I'm gonna bring it to the side and see if you can see I don't know if you can tell on camera but the glitter it's kind of chunky it's a little bit raised right and you do put it on a little bit thick, right? Um, and then you let it dry. So this takes a, a few minutes for it to dry. Same with this. I don't know. I'm able to put it on fairly thin, um, but not everybody can do that. It takes a little time, but you can hear how my finger kind of runs over that. Um, this sample right here, we have the um, iridescent ice or the glitter. It too is chunky. Now this one will flake off a little bit as you run your finger over it like that where the dazzling details doesn't really do that because it's more of like a, a gel inside that holds the glitter, right? So this one, it is raised and I don't know if you can see how it's raised off of there. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but it, it is, um, it's not flush with your cardstock, okay? Now this, I've used the Wink of Stella, and it's just looking at it, you can hardly tell, right? Oh, when you flip it, do you see that? Now I just ran my little paintbrush over the black lettering, so it's quite shimmery. I like that, and I use it on the flowers too, you can see. Um, but if you're trying to do a small area, like a dot, it's kind of hard um, to tell because you need a little bit more of this type of product to get the effect that you want. And it's flush with the cardstock. There's no raised anything. But you can see that when you run your finger over it, a little bit of the glitter will come off. Okay. So what's the benefit of having these different products? And would you use one more than the other? So th honestly, that comes down to personal preference. I like them both. Um, I like the Wink of Stella for the fact that it's easy. You can brush it on, it dries pretty quick, and you don't have the chance of putting on too much unless you squeeze this pin really hard, <laughs> and then you're going to have a pool of glitter on your project. Um, so I do like that, and if you have a hard time controlling how much to squeeze out of your dazzling details, then this might be a better option for you. However, this is considerably more expensive than your dazzling details. The dazzling details runs about $250, $350. Um, um, one of those, I can't remember. And this is, I think, $8 a pen. Now, having said that, I haven't had this very long, so I don't know how long this lasts in comparison to the Dazzling Details. I may do another video on this later that will kind of compare that. Now, the only reason that I think I prefer 
There's a couple reasons why I prefer the Dazzling Details over the Wink Estella. Only because, one, it's it's less expensive. And I personally don't have a problem controlling how much I squeeze out. Um, if you're not a very patient person and you don't want to wait for these things to dry, then you're going to want to go with the Wink Estella. Now, the other reason why I really like the Dazzling Details is because I'm able to color it. <laughs> so I can get this in any color that I want. I use the reinkers, and I will put a link to the video that I, the tutorial video that I made on how to color your Dazzling details. I use the reinkers, a few drops of the reinker in here with a little um, dowel and I mix it up and then I can have my dazzling details in any color I want, which I really like. You can't really do that that I know of with this one yet because when you unscrew this, I have not done this since I've opened this. I don't think, yeah, see I wouldn't be able to fit a little drop of um, uh, reinker in there because it's just too small of a hole. I don't think there's a way that you can actually put color Color, aside from like picking up a little bit of color with the paintbrush with this option. So you're kind of limited with the Wink of Stella, um, but it's fabulous. And I have a little bit more versatility with my dazzling details. Having said that, and I don't know exactly how many ounces is in, it doesn't tell me, and I threw away the packaging. So I'm not exactly sure how many ounces is in this as compared to the six ounces that we have of the dazzling details. So like I said, I'm not exactly sure how long this lasts. And um, I'd probably be a pretty good test of that because I use glitter on almost every project that I have. So <laughs> I go through a lot of dazzling details. I use it a lot. But uh, that is a brief overview of what they are and how they are different. And hopefully that'll help you decide which one you may want to invest in. Um, unless you're like me and then you just buy everything that has glitter on it and you love it. So <laughs> I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you ever have a question or something you would like um, a little bit of help or input on, please do me a favor and shoot me a note. You can either leave a comment at the end of this video or shoot me a note on my blog or my Facebook page. I'm pretty much everywhere. I will show you how to find me on all of my social networking sites um, here in just a second. If you love this, do me a favor and share it with a friend. So I hope you guys had a great time today and thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, guys, have fun, be creative and take care. Bye-bye. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside.